Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a good one for you. I have this big uh, CPU uh, motor controller from I think it's a forklift or a, a drive vacuum. I don't know exactly but it does have these huge posts that actually take as you can see an M8 bolt on the top it, th it will be a continuation of the um, uh, aluminum post that I soldered with the big 150 watt uh, soldering iron and went kind of varial uh, the link of the sort is in the description below now let's take a look about this one and wah, wah, wah. here is your problem one of the posts is totally gone from the PCB As you can see here, it looks uh, like it has some current measuring there. I forgot to tell you if you can see here, top two posts are the battery connection and the other three are the three faces that go to the motor. As you can see here, it's, uh, its circuit is for one phase of the motor plus the batteries and this is a sand resistor uh, to measure the current. As you can see, this is a huge piece of copper and it is divided in four as you can see here as well um, this will be really really challenging either even for the 150 watt iron because I mean look at the dimension this is a AAA battery. This thing is just huge. And this is a AA battery. As you can see, this has a very, very big mass. And first of all, I will try to see if I can even melt any solder around here maybe heat up both of them be careful about the capacitors next to it and uh, see if it is even possible to solder it of course as you can see this comes in a huge on a huge aluminum plate that measures about 10.5 millimeters I would definitely want to unscrew the PCB from the plate um, to get as much heat as possible in the PCB. Let's remove the screws and separate. Oh. As you can see the PCB is loose now and of course it is an aluminum PCB the whole bottom plate so 
so let's take this out of the way so the soldering the big soldering iron is heated as you can see I just out of curiosity wanted to take um, a temperature reading just to see about what temperature it operates I have here my multimeter and I'm going to touch the side of the soldering iron that is not bad I was expecting much higher temperatures although as you can see it is still rising um, it does look quite okay actually so we have an idea there I will take a measurement again later let's give it a try to see if we can melt the solder So I have my salt pieced beyond some uh, good there, but first of all, I want to try and see. It just just hold it a bit there like that, and try to see of course just clean look at that tip look at that that's proper thinning now I want to check okay we are doing something yes I don't know if you can see, but it looks that it is flowing. Wow, that's... yeah. There we go. So I will try to do the same with the PCB and get some temperature there. I don't want to add a lot of new solder as this has to go vertical and hit the holes on the top the PCB is getting really really hot here it is flowing as you can see let's try hit this up hit both of them and Oh, is it on there? Yes. Uh, yes. Actually, it is. I still cannot touch, cannot even touch the board. Uh, it is stuck in there, but it doesn't... I don't know if that is there for good or not. I will try to melt it again and give it some more temperature there.
Not much happening. It is getting hot, but it is not flowing, as you can see. Well, it started. It looks a bit better now. Let's go on this side and here again. Yeah, yep, it's moving. I really want to get some shoulder in there. Yeah, the whole thing is flowing now. I can see it from the shoulder. Maybe add some more. I hope we will not damage the PCB, of course. So I'm going to leave it like that, as you can see, it took quite a bit of time to get this thing hot and on there. I'm pretty sure uh, it looks quite vertical actually, hold the all, everything is hot to the touch on the piece on the board I will leave it uh, cool down let this huge thing let's give it a clean look at that and that's a good one
So here we are about 15 minutes later and the board is still quite hot. Let's take a look at this. I believe it has melted almost all the way. It looks pretty straight and from here if you see also from here it's not really easy to show it on camera no it's not possible but we will make the ultimate test and use the cover and see how we're doing and as you can see all of them all of them are coming up so this thing should work it's so tight oops just take a look at the quality here there are rubber rubber grommets uh, on its post to protect it from dust and as you can see it has worked pretty nice it's pretty clean inside here now I want to give it a bit of a clean there So we do know now that actually the whole board has been a little bit heat stressed. The capacitors got hot, everything actually got quite hot. But I hope we should be ready to go without any other problems. One more look there. Actually, the only part that does not look very full is the very part near the, near the capacitor, but still it looks like it is soldered there. It might have been a good idea to use low melt solder in this situation uh, to get a bit more adjustment uh, or maybe use two soldering irons and the uh, push on both sides um, if you have any ideas please let me know in the comments below and uh, hit the like button if you found this video interesting and see you on the next one bye